16 summers since my last confession bless me father in the pits that I've sinned broken bones and hearts one great depression I loved and lost her like a leaf in the wind Washington has released a statement saying that the light which has grown in size dramatically over the last 48 hours is most likely a large meteor or asteroid nearly 300 million miles from Earth However, Francois de Lerouel, the amateur astronomer who first spotted the light, is already attracting a lot of interest after his emphatic claim that the object is heading directly towards Earth. Empty the fucking pill. You okay? Hurry up, okay? Okay, okay. Hurry the fuck up! For fuck's sake, hurry up! Is that everything? That's everything. Are you sure? I swear you that's... You full of fucking shit. No, that's everything, I swear. No, I'm the rest. Look, I swear, that's all I've got. I think I'm fucking stupid. No. Get some more. Look, that's you all I've got. You can move down there, I know that's it. That's all I've got, please. Just take you it and go. fucking kidding no. me? Go get your fucking safe. I've not got a safe. Aye, bullshit. Get your fucking safe. No, I've not got a safe, please. Just take get it, money. Get back there and get the fucking safe I've open. I've not got a fucking safe. You fucking lying to me. No, I'm not lying. Please, just take it, money, and go. You're fucking lying to please, me. Please, just take a fucking Get in there and fucking get I've it. I've not got a safe, please go. Please. I swear I'll fucking do please, it. Please, just go. Put a fucking gun in your fucking face. Please. Fucking open it. Go on. For fuck's sake, hurry up! For God's sake, Move it. Please, what are you doing? Get fucking back. No one needs to get hot. We just calm down. You, you. why? No. And what if I don't? What are you gonna do? Put a bullet through your head, that's what? No, please, look at me, just fucking go, please! No, you won't. You're not gonna do that. What things haven't worked out well for you, so you think that gives you the right to come in here and wave a gun in people's faces. Why don't you go? Fuck yourself. Wallet, now, or I swear to God, I will fucking kill please you. Just fucking give him your wallet, please give him your wallet. Just go. Fucking hell, man, you've got the money, go. Just give him it. You could probably do anything you want. You know that. If you've got money problems, why don't you go and get a fucking job? Oh, I know why, because you're too much of a pussy. A pussy? Yeah, a pussy. You've got two fucking seconds. If you want to shoot me, go ahead, you fucking coward. Do it! I need an ambulance. <laughs> some fascinating things coming up on some of the calls today. I mean, but what we really have to think about is where, where were we tens of thousands of years ago when this asteroid began its journey? I mean, is this, uh, you know, is this asteroid... Hey. I've been trying to call you for two hours. Where are you? I'm at the, um... It doesn't matter. You OK? Yeah, I'm fine. Um, I could do with a drink, actually, if you fancy it. Of course I fancy it. Why do you think I was calling? It wasn't for your stimulating fucking conversational skills. Okay, where are you? I'm in the White Swan, but I'm just moving on somewhere else. So I'll text you the address. Right. As long as it's not another house party. Okay, I just want a quiet drink. Hi mate, it's me, I'm here, where are you? I'm downstairs, I don't even know if I'm in the right house, call me back.
Please do help yourself. It's yours. It is. That's all right, I forgive you. At least you've got good taste. It's wasted on that lot. Home to the road. back from Venezuela. You ever been to South America? No, no not yet. <laughs> I'm Maya. Cole. Nice to meet you, Cole. It's a cool name, eh? Whose name? The astrologists. Astronomists, whatever it is. Della Royale. Delure you well. Delure you well. First name or last name? I think it's his last, but it works for either. Delure you well, Jones. Delure you well, Goldstein. He sounds like a Jewish commentary detective in a 1960s crime novel. Sounds more like a porn star. What do they say? A 0.00001% chance is going to hit us. Mm. You know, you can see it now. Are you serious? It's been visible since Wednesday. Someone's a little bit self involved. In one of those weeks, I've been having all hey, sorts of... Hey, I've got my own problems. Do you know what would be the best problem solver of all time? If we knew with absolute certainty that thing was going to hit us? I mean, how liberating would it be if we knew without any doubt it was actually going to smash right into us? Nothing would matter. Um, everything would matter. Why would it? Well, I'd agree with you if they were going to hit us in three days. If they were three days away, there'd be nothing we could do to prepare. We can just forget about all of life's problems and money and bullshit and have fun. Now, that would be liberating. This thing's, what, three years away? Two years, 291 days. Wow, what a nerd. Thank you. So, if it was definitely going to hit us, but it was two years, 290, whatever, days away, then I think it would be the opposite. We'd all be so burdened with the responsibility of having to survive. We'd be so preoccupied making plans to survive annihilation. But we would never be able to just sit back and enjoy it. Exactly. This is getting pretty deep. You started it. So who do you know here? That's slightly embarrassing. I was here to meet my friend, Richard Ritchie. He's upstairs. Disappeared into one of the bedrooms with a girl dressed like Princess Diana. Ah. OK. Well, in that case, you got me. I don't know anybody. You know me. Except for you. So I know you don't work with Richie. What do you do? Um, how do you know that I don't work with Richie? Because your hands don't feel like you've been counting money your whole adult life. Well, I'm just doing a bit of manual labour at the moment. <laughs> Jeez, don't bore me with the details, will you? I work on a building site. A building site? Yep. I noticed you're avoiding using the word builder. Yep. It's all right, I get it. I sometimes pour pints on my dad's pub for some extra cash. Doesn't make me a barmaid. Maya, you coming? No, I'm going to hang around for a little while longer. It was nice to meet you. It's great to meet you guys. See ya. Yeah. See ya. God. Wouldn't expect those two to get together, would you? Jesus and Hitler. You know, I think he was after a threesome. Well, I think he'll be lucky. Only met them half an hour ago. That's all it takes. Is it? Put this on. I don't think so. Don't give me that look. God. You serious? I'm so turned on right now. <laughs> this smells of, um, feet. So what did you actually want to be? Well, I trained to be a carpenter. Oh, like Jesus? Yeah, exactly, like Jesus. Well, just don't go making your own cross. Oh. Smile. <laughs> I love this. Turn it up! Come on, Geppetto. Are you serious? Yes. Come and dance with me.
If you think you can do better, be my guest. You're better off using your bare hands. following you. Yeah, right. Thought we had to get back before sunset.
You're not coming out with me again. It's not even dark yet. Well, funnily enough, I'd rather not wait until the last minute. Well, forget it. I'm not staying in here. It's for your own safety. You can't just keep me locked up in the dark all day. I'll get scurvy. You get rickets from not getting enough sunlight. Well, I'm sorry. I forgot you had a degree in medicine. I can just about outrun them. You can't. I can run faster than you. Are you doing that to piss me off? Doing what? Sniffing. Blow your nose. What are you, my grandmother? Barry Gribbham. Why do I know that name? He had a map. Not this. He was heading to Norway. I can't keep having the same conversation. That's where all the evacuees were heading. Yeah, where? They said if you get to an evacuation centre, then refugee boats are leaving for Norway. But how long ago was that? How do you even know it's still safe? Well, if it doesn't get dark, Oh, then... here we go. There's a reason they call it the land of the midnight sun. That's where she is. I know it. You have no idea where she is, and that's exactly how you like it. Your parents aren't stupid. They'll have got to one of the boats. Just trust me. Have you got any pesto? Uh, down the back, top shelf. Right. Now, we're turning our attention to the night sky. At 7 you mate. What's the latest? Mm, they reckon it's like 50 miles wide. No, I mean with the guy who got shot. Oh, Michael. Yeah, Michael. How's he doing? Not great. They think he's eventually going to need a transplant. What kind of transplant? They all look like a doctor. They, they found the guy who did it. <laughs> Please. No chance of finding my virginity. I brought this for you, for us, when I mean, you said we were having fish, so. Great. OK. Glasses. How long you lived here? Uh, about two years. Can I put some music on? Yeah, please. Yeah, go ahead. I knew we should have gone out. No, you've got it all under control. I can see you're on a tight ship. Somali pirates run tighter ships than this. <laughs> Cheers. Don't worry, it's not Venezuelan. Mm. It's lovely. Oh my God, you don't like it. <sighs> uh, I'm sorry, I, I can't stand white wine. And it makes me depressed. Well, why didn't you say? Because... I nearly threw your stuff up at the party. Is there any alcohol you can drink? I don't know. How about something non-alcoholic? What about a nice Shirley Temple? Listen, trust me, I, I drink everything else. Red, red wine, beer, vodka. Mmm. <laughs> My God, I can't believe I forgot to tell you. Do you remember Chloe and Steve from the party? You know, the guys I was going to get a lift back with. Mm. The threesome. Oh. Sexy Hitler. Sexy Hitler. Well, when they left, they got in a taxi and they ended up in a head-on collision with a lorry. They all got killed. The driver as well. Hang on, fuck. I read about that. That was them? Yeah. Fuck. I know. Mm. Hmm. Go on, you can say it. What? You know what? You're dying to say it. Say what? You know what? I'm not saying anything. But it's true, though, isn't it? I knew it. If it weren't for me... You're evil. You're welcome. Yeah, OK, thank you. Thanks for saving my life. Yeah, well, listen, it was, it was no sweat. My hero. I know. It's the, um... It's the, the pesto. I went, I went fucking mental with the pesto. 
Did you make this? I said I trained as a carpenter. I didn't say I was any good. No, I love it. Must be the floor that's uneven. The floor is uneven. It is. <laughs> really? And two slippery supernovas, please. What's a slippery supernova? Half vodka, half whiskey with the coffee bean in it. God almighty, I'm starting to think you've got some serious problems. I do, I do, I need help. That's fourteen seventy five, please. Oh my, I'm paying. Good. He's All right. paying. She orders, my pay, that's it. After piss, we'll get you, we'll be paying forever more. Just establishing the boundary. I like that I'm one. I'm so though. sorry, he's an alcoholic. He beats me, I'm he puts don't cigarettes out on Come my on now, Maya. Don't say that. It's not true. It's, you know, and he picks his nose and eats it. It's, that, that is true. Locks me up in the shed. <laughs> this is where my mum and dad first met. Really? In here? Mm. She worked in the bar and he'd come in every other day and try and chat her up. And wore her down eventually. <laughs> I think that's why he wanted his own pub. You'd see my mum behind the bar with customers in the palm of her hand, you know? Mm. Can you imagine how busy this would have been back in the day? Mm. If you could go back in time to any point in history. Ancient Rome? Really? Yeah, I think so. Colosseum, right? I'd love to see the gladiators. Two men fighting to the death. Isn't that weird? Bit weird. Is it? <laughs> about you? Ancient Greece? With the togas? Togas. <laughs> Did you hear about the dyslexic who went to a toga party dressed as a goat? Oh my god. No? No. I actually got a broken nose once, all due to time travel. Amazing. What for? Yeah, I was quite drunk. <laughs> and there was this kid who was about 10 years old. Oh dear god, where is this going? So anyway, I was very drunk and I, I saw this kid and I was like, he was just a mini version of me. <laughs> um, it might have been because I was hammered, but he literally looked like the spitting image. <laughs> So I crossed over the road, went over to him, looked down, looked in his eyes, deep into his eyes, <laughs> and I said, I'm you from the future. I've got a really important message for you. Whatever you do, don't get on that boat. What boat? I don't know, I'm making it up. <laughs> and what did he say? I ran off, screaming. Wow. And a few days later, walking down the same street, in fact, he was there with his dad, but his dad was clearly devoid of any sense of humour, so... Oh, no. Yeah. That looks way more like that kid than his dad, anyway. <laughs> Do you ever want kids? <clears throat> no. No? No. That urge has never really kicked in. You? Cue the violins. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't have children. Don't stop, for God's sake. I had an abortion when I was 18, and there were some complications, but, you know, it's totally fine with it. So. Don't you dare tell me you're sorry. No, I wouldn't dream of it. There are way too many people in the world anyway, right? Mm. Last thing we need is another you running around. You know what I realised the other day? Time travel will never be invented. No. Why? Well, if it was going to be invented at any point, then we'd have met someone from the future already, wouldn't we? Not if they could only travel forward. Anyway, we might have met people from the future. Mm. Yeah? They've probably got very strict guidelines about what they can say. Maybe. Talk to me.
Hey. How did you get out? Go back. You go back. Shh. We, we need to keep quiet. It's daytime. What are they going to do? Maya. Hey. Maya. What are you going to do? Maya, be Come on quiet. then, beam me up. Shh, Maya. Come on. There's nothing in here. We could have eaten that deer. Not unless you like it with green shit all over it. What, you mean like pesto? Do you think they regret coming here all at once? What do you mean? Well, they fly 50 billion light years to get here, then they can't go up with daylight. It's like going on the coast of Del Sol and realizing you're allergic to dickheads. We're not on fucking holiday. How do you know? Because when you go to the Costa del Sol, you don't enslave and slaughter all the locals. You don't know that's what they're doing up there. For all we know, they could be taking people somewhere better. Maybe that's why they haven't left yet. They're not going to go until they've rescued everyone. The reason they haven't left Maya is because they haven't killed us all yet. You're going to try and convince yourself that's Norwegian? Tell me that doesn't sound Scandinavian. And you don't know what they're saying. It doesn't matter what they're saying. What matters is people are there. Well, it could just be a recording playing on a loop. Well, then there'd need to be someone there to keep the power going. If people are there, that's where we need to head. Yeah, and what about in winter when it's constant darkness? Well, then we'll head south. You haven't got a clue. They won't disappear. You can't just keep running from them. I'm trying my best in extremely fucking difficult circumstances. Well, I'm sorry if the circumstances are difficult for you. How do you think it's been for me with you constantly shutting me out? Sh I'm not shutting you out. You're here, aren't you? When did you decide to give up on us? Go, go! <sighs> Hey. Can you believe it? What? Do you ever listen to the news? No, what's going on? They found Bin Laden yet? Very funny. They're saying the asteroid might actually hit us. You're kidding me. No. Washington made an official statement. They're saying a 20% chance. What? I know. Holy fucking shit. I've got to go. I'll see you in an hour, right? Yeah. Love you. Love you too. Where do you want to be when it hits us? If it hits us. I don't care as long as I'm with you. Do you want to get married? Yeah, sure. I'm serious. Well, so am I. We might only have a year left on the planet, so it's not exactly a lifetime commitment. Yes, it is. I'm asking you to spend the rest of time with me. But what if it doesn't hit us? What if it just passes us by, then we'll be stuck together? What, you think I'm going to dump you just because the world hasn't ended? 
okay? I will marry you on one condition. There's no ceremony, no reception, no church. We just agree from here on in that we're officially married. Agreed. Okay, give me your left hand. If we do this, then it's real. There's no turning back, for better or worse. Sickness and health. You may now kiss the bride. I love you, no matter what. No matter what. Get down. Maybe they were trying to communicate with us. Come on, we're in a perfectly safe place. It's daylight. They're not gonna get us, just calm down. I won't calm down. I haven't got a fucking clue where we are. You took me off course. Me? Yes, you keep distracting me. What? I told you to stay put, but you wouldn't listen, would you? And now, as usual, I'm the one who has to act like a fucking adult and protect us while you piss about. Piss about? Yes. And I'd appreciate it if you would take our welfare, that's mine and your welfare, just a little bit more fucking seriously. There's no food here. It's all gone. I thought you'd left us behind. Put some new batteries in it for you. Summer's gone, but it don't feel bad You would have bought by now that I'd have found my senses Still I'm running around, jumping fences But it's a road I'm running And it's the only road that I The sun's fading. We should bed down. What time is it? We're gonna be late. Can you just throw that away? We're like a few minutes late. That's all. Just relax. We're supposed to be in there at quarter two. 
I was ready. You're the one faffing around. I was trying to find the medical card. The medical card you were supposed to be looking after. Did you lock up properly? Yes. I'll see you inside. Do you even need me in there? first discovered the Delay UL asteroid cluster two and a half years ago has died at his home in Paris. Initial reports coming in are suggesting that he took his own life, but those reports are not yet confirmed. With just six months to go until the Delay UL reaches Earth's orbit, the world anxiously awaits news from the United States regarding the deliverance vessels and what, if any, success they are likely to have in diverting the objects from the collision course. We're joined now on the line by The space agency, of course, are trying to put an optimistic spin on things, as always, but everyone knows this is a long shot. It's effectively a last-ditch effort. Certainly our best chance outside of simply keeping our fingers crossed and hoping for the best. You mentioned that the aim is to divert the course of the asteroids, but what would happen if they were actually broken into pieces? What effect would that have? I'm sorry to say that uh, unless those smaller pieces are also diverted, then it really won't make much of a difference to us here on Earth. You see, as the situation stands, the main Delor UL is 50 miles wide. Even if it broke into 50 smaller pieces, if just one of those pieces hit us, the devastation would be catastrophic. To put it into a bit of perspective, if an asteroid the size of a house hit Earth at this kind of speed, it would have a level of energy equivalent to the Hiroshima bomb. That's about 20 kilotons. Now, if the asteroid was just one mile wide, you're looking at a million megatons. That's 10 million times the amount that obliterated Hiroshima. If it hits land, pretty much everything within 1,000 miles would be wiped out. The dust and debris that it would throw up into the atmosphere would block out the sun, and most living things on the planet would wither and die. And, you know, if it lands in the ocean, well, we've all seen what happens. Tidal waves hundreds of feet high. How is it possible to be this scared of something you haven't even seen yet? Say it. For God's sake, just say it. Well, do you really think this is a good time to be having a baby? Of course it's not a good time to be having a baby. In the history of mankind, it's probably the worst fucking time to be having a baby. What do you want me to do? We should at least speak about it, shouldn't we? Don't you understand? The fact that I'm even pregnant is a miracle. Might not get another chance. Maya, nobody is having children. Right now, nobody. Maya! Stay there. Where are you going?
off me. Just, no more. just get off me. This is all your fucking fault. My fault. Yes. You fault. You're such a coward. I told you we shouldn't have a baby. Why do you take so much fucking pleasure in reminding me of because that? Because of this. All of this blame and contempt coursing through your veins is all aimed at me. Well, who else is there? You know what hurts the most? It's the fact you don't even try and fucking hide it! You think it's my fault that we haven't eaten in weeks? <sighs> we're, we're lost. You think it's my fault that we're separated? Well, I have never said that. I've never said that I blame you. You just fucking said it! Don't bullshit me! Well, I didn't mean that! Did you or did you not just say it was all my fault, yes or no? You're the one who blames yourself! This is not me, this is all about you! All I've tried to do is protect us, and every single word that comes out of your mouth is like a little fucking barbed reminder of the fact you think I failed. What? What have I said? This is all coming from you! Just admit it. <sighs> Just admit it. You think I'm a failure? You always have done. You never thought I could take care of I us! I never gave a shit that you worked on that building site! Oh. Thank you, there Even it though is. Even you could Thank have done you. anything else you wanted to. Thank you! It wasn't my fault you were too much of a pussy to do something about a it. A pussy? Yes, yeah. a pussy. Oh. Wake up, Cole! Just tell me, what were you so afraid of? Oh, I don't fucking know, Maya. I don't know. Maybe it was the fact that we had absolutely no money! <gasps> Maybe it was the fact that I wasn't ready to be a father! Maybe it was the fact there was a fucking giant, unidentified object oh. about to wipe out the entire God, planet. God, that's not what I'm talking about, and you know that. It was never about the Dolor UL, it was about you! You just used it as an excuse to give up on... on everything! That's fucking bullshit. That is bullshit! You look at me in the eyes and tell me you think we were ready for a baby. No one's ever ready, Cole. Bringing a child into that mess was fucking outrageous. It was irresponsible and it was cruel. I'm sorry, it was. You think I forced you into having a baby? You told me you couldn't even have kids. How dare you say that to me? How fucking dare you say that to me, you fucking bastard? I fucking hate you so much! I fucking dare you say that to me! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No! Get off me! Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I fucking hate you. I know. I hate you so much. Barry, you know we're having a baby. There's nothing I can do. We've not had any new contracts. With everything that's going on, is Who's fucking building anything, son? Is there no one else you can let go first? Surely, could I go to prioritise the lads who'd be with me the longest? What about, um... What about Callum? Yeah, he's 19 years old, no responsibilities. He's working with me for three years. The fact is, your son's got nothing to do with it. Look, Cole, I don't have to explain myself. Yes, you do. Barry, I've worked my arse off for you. Harder than half the lads on that site. Please, don't do this to me. There's nothing I can do. Please, Barry. I need this job. There's got to be something. Sorry, Cole. Barry? Cheers. How are you doing? Congratulations. On the baby, I mean. Yeah, thanks. All healthy? Ten fingers, ten toes? Yeah. Baby's fine, as far as we know. The universe. Gives away one hand, takes away with the other. Soon the whole world's gonna know what that feels like. Come on. You don't know that asteroid's gonna hit any more than I do. An asteroid? Is that all that you think it is? It's not like they want total control over us. I'm just saying it could be a big help, that's all. We're not taking it. We don't need charity. Cole, it's not charity. Pub's busier than it's ever been. My dad needs more staff. Maya. Like they're offering you work. Yeah, all right, so it's bar work, but... 
Come on, is that really any worse than working on a building site? Oh, thanks very much. Anyway, that's not the point, is it? They just want to help. They think that if we no, can get they back think in fact... that it's my fault we're not even married. I told you I put her straight on that. Where do they get the right to judge me? Where is this coming from? What, what the hell is wrong with you? They're offering help. Just grow some balls, suck it up and accept it. You know what? The only reason your old man's pub didn't go under two years ago is because of those fucking marks in the sky. What the hell are you talking oh, about? Oh, don't give me that. As soon as people realise we might all get wiped out, all anyone wanted to do was go and get fucking pissed. Not everybody. Yes, everybody. People stopped giving a shit about money and the cars and their fucking jobs because you know what? They realised none of this shit fucking matters. No one gave a flying fuck, including us. Do you remember? The reason your parents are sat on a pile of money is because everyone else stopped giving a fuck about oh, it. Oh, nice language to use in front of your unborn child. I'm being serious, Maya. So am I. Maybe when I'm carrying your baby, you could keep the fucks to a minimum. Oh, for God's sake, what are you, my grandmother? No, I'm your wife, and I'd appreciate no, it. No, if... you're not my wife, are you? And I'm not your husband, and we both know why that is, don't we? It's because you had absolutely no fucking desire to marry me whatsoever. <laughs> Look. The bottom line is that we need the money. We're going to need to return the pushchair. The pushchair is going nowhere, we Maya. We can't even afford a proper car. I'm not making the cut because we can't afford a cut. I'm making the cut because it's something I want to do for me. I'm making it because I want one fucking thing not to be about money. But you're never going to make it, Cole. I have been out of work for two minutes. Two minutes. Will you just give me a second to get back on my feet? You're not a carpenter, Cole. I'm sorry, but you're not. Everything you build falls apart. Look at the table and the, the fucking chairs. Do you think I'm going to let our baby sleep in a cot that you've made? You know, sometimes I feel that you're oblivious to this whole thing. You, you're in denial. I'm in denial. You're... Oh, what would you want me to do? Spend all day hiding in the cupboards? You know what? I can't do this. I can't do it. Nothing about this is right. What are you doing? What if she's up there waiting for us? What are you talking about, Maya? Where's the baby food? You're not serious. Come on. I thought we were saving it. Well, there's no point if we die of starvation before we even get to her. I don't want it now. OK, well, I'll have mine. Maybe we could share one. It's not enough. It's supposed to be a joint decision. Don't give me the luck.
let me guess. You're heading to Norway. You're not. I don't buy into all that land of the midnight sun stuff. It's all a load of old cobblers. Try telling that to this one. <laughs> Try telling that to my wife. Where is she? She headed up north with everyone else. She knew I didn't want to go. So she took her baby girl and left in the middle of the night. Why'd you have that video playing outside? It's a distraction. You don't have any kids. We do. A girl. She was born just before. A baby girl? Where is she? She's with my parents. When the ships arrived, we were at the hospital. She is with them. We haven't seen them since. They're heading north. How do you know? How do you know that they aren't? Because we know. Sorry. Do I know you from somewhere? No. I don't think so. You sound familiar. The Prime Minister has called for calm as the world faces up to what he describes as an unprecedented global crisis. Our correspondent, Nicholas Adadeji, has this report. At approximately 0600 hours Eastern Standard Time, the Deliverance nuclear vessels dispatched to the Deliruel asteroid were detonated. However, the impact of the explosions was insufficient to divert the asteroid from its course. The Deliverance mission has failed. We will continue to monitor the Deliruel as it moves closer to Earth over the coming weeks, but I'm afraid I won't be taking any questions kicking. at the present time. Hi, this is the voicemail from Maya Garrity. I can't answer the phone right now, but leave me a message and I'll call you back. Maya, you can't just pack your stuff up and leave in the middle of the night, okay? Now, give me a call back. I came down to the hospital today, to the appointment, hoping that you'd be here. Where are you? You can't just keep avoiding me, all right? We obviously need to talk about this. Just, just give me a call back, please. Why did you want to die? What? That night, you wanted him to shoot you. What are you talking about? Doesn't you have anyone you cared about? Hang on. You think I actually wanted him to kill me? You were daring him to put a bullet in your head. I was standing up to him. He was scared. He was never going to pull the trigger. And you're sure about that? He only shot you because you attacked him. Right. I see. I've, I've got to go. You know, I had what you had. Someone who cared about me. Look, mate, you don't need to convince me you've been dealt a shitty hand, all right? Her name is Aurora. I know. Right. When I first met her, she couldn't speak in English. And she was only here on holiday. I saw her walking along St. Cyrus Beach. It was the middle of January. She had this hair. This crazy blonde hair blown all over the place. There were literally the only two people for miles around. She was walking one way and I was walking the other. Well, I knew we were going to pass each other. As she got closer, I was desperately trying to think of something to say. Anything. Before I knew it, we were crossing paths. We made eye contact for a split second. I bottled it. And we just passed each other like ships in the night. I carried on walking. 
I knew I'd just saddled myself with a lifetime regret, wondering what might have happened if I'd just had enough to speak to her. And just as I was wishing the sand to swallow me whole, I heard a voice from behind me ask if I had a lighter. Her English was terrible, but she knew to say that. It was so windy. It took us forever to light that fucking thing. By the time I did, I was in love. We spent the rest of that day together and the day after that, and somehow I kept managing to convince her to extend her holiday until eventually she just... She loved me back. And for the first time in my life, the rest of the world didn't exist anymore. But then I ended up in here. And the me that she fell in love with didn't exist anymore. And she did everything she could to try and find him again. But she couldn't. He was gone. And I was all that was left. And then I pushed her and I pushed her and I pushed her. Until eventually, when she couldn't, when she couldn't take anymore. She got on a plane and she went home. And all I got was a postcard telling me how sorry she was. Tell me, why should she be sorry? There's all this stuff. That's for communications. Communications? So you're failed? Yeah, <laughs> afraid not. I'm actually a doctor. You've contacted other survivors? No, 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 no. Well, communications with who? With them. You've had contact with the ships? Kind of. Listen to this. It's coming from them. Well, what is it? I don't know. But I've been trying to send a signal back. Well, how do you know that's even going to work? Well, I don't, but we've got to try, right? I mean, we're so busy running away from them that we've missed the point. Like it or not, our life is in their hands. What signal did you send out? Just basic Morse code. Morse code. You may as well send a Shakespearean sonnet. They know a lot more about us than you realise. Here, look at this. Here, look. C-27, what is that? It's on one of the ships. I was trying to make contact. If they've been observing us, learning everything about us for years, they'll have worked out that we stopped caring a long time ago. This world is like a piece of fruit. An orange decaying from the inside out, and we're like hundreds of ants crawling all over, bleeding it dry. So they've got rid of all the other ants, so that we have a chance of surviving. The hell are you talking about? All those things want to do is kill us. You don't know that. That's where you're going wrong. Look around. Things have changed. This isn't the same world anymore. But you're still trying to apply the same logic to it. They've wiped everything out. But we're still here. Why? What? Because we're lucky. Come on. There's got to be a reason they haven't killed us. They've tried, believe me. Have they? You've been on your own too long. Me? Or you? Have you ever seen one of them? Of course. Haven't you? We've been hiding. <sighs> what do they look like? There's a pile of photographs over there. You can keep one if you like. Help persuade the non-believers. Convince the doubters. Clear up the inevitable confusion later on.
They didn't go to Norway. Hey! I've got money. Money? <laughs> what use is that? <clears throat> Please, let it go. Please live it my life. Whatever happens to her, that's not my responsibility. I'll fucking kill you. Shh. They can hear us. They can always hear us. Ants and oranges, Cole. Ants and oranges. Ladies and gentlemen, I am very sorry to bring you the news that the final attempt to divert the Dudley UL has failed. If nothing changes, then we will be hit within the next couple of hours. We'll be playing your requests as long as we possibly can. Good luck, everyone. Welcome to voicemail 1571. The person you're calling is not available. Please leave a message after the tone. Hi, it's me. Do you remember the night we first met? We talked about how we'd feel if we knew the Delo UL was going to hit us. I said that nothing would matter and you convinced me that everything would. What changed? I'm sorry I left. It's not what I wanted, Cole. But even if the world doesn't end, I don't want to spend the rest of my life with someone who wishes it. Ah! Ah! Away. My wife's having a baby. I'm sorry, we can't help. Please, wait, 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 no, no. She's she's already here, she's in the hospital. You just need to let me in. Shouldn't you be inside? Inside, outside. What's the difference? Well, what, what, what are you doing? Hey! Shh. You keep quiet. They might hear you. What do you want? I want my life back. Three years ago, you took it from me and I want it back. Michael, I didn't take your life. It was him. You know it was him. It wasn't him. Yes, it was. And the fact that he's walking around breathing the same air as you is a cruel fucking travesty. It is, but it's not my fault. You would have just walked out of there if you'd just kept your mouth shut. You had a gun pointed in your face and you still left that night with a second chance. And what have you done with it? Nothing! You don't know anything about me. I know I waste a fucking life when I see one. And I know when it comes to that thing in the sky that me and you're exactly the same. You want to wipe out the entire planet just as much as I do. But I have nothing. And I have no one. And what's your excuse? All right, Michael, please, please, all right, look, whatever you think, all right, and whatever happened, I didn't plan it, okay, I didn't you think- You did, Frank! You fought yourself and no one else. You're a coward. You wanted them to shoot you. All right. All right, you're right. I'm a coward. I admit I'm a coward, but I need to find my wife. I want to be with my wife and child. They need me. I don't need you. What did I need you for? Look around. It's too late. The Delaire UL is here. They're finished like everyone else. You don't know that. Your wife and your baby might as well lock themselves in a the cupboard and hope for the best. Just let me try. It's too late. Please. Please. Just let me try. Just give me a chance to be a father.
mal. You lost her call. You had everything. You had it. But you've lost it, and now it's time to accept her. Coasting through your veins. Just let it go. <laughs> Tell me, what were you so afraid of? Maybe it was the fact you had absolutely no money. Maybe it was the fact that you weren't ready, ready to be a father. Maybe, Maybe it was, it was the fact that there was a fucking giant, giant unidentified I... object about to wipe out the entire planet. You just used it as an excuse to get up on.
Aw yang si ayunum ayaya jayo. Where you go from here, Cole? That's up to you. But this, this is where I need to be. That's where she is. That's where she is. I know it. Baby girl, you should see her. She's amazing. Cole? Where are you? Have you heard what they're saying? They're saying they'd allow you all to break apart. 